Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over how to use the object snap function and kind of the options you have when it comes to snapping objects in AutoCAD. So, very useful tool. I recommend turning it on and kind of customizing it for yourself and how you'll end up liking it, but very useful. So, let's get into the video. Alright, so before we dive in more to the snap function, we should probably go over the snap functions located. So the snap function, the object snap function is located in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It's going to be right here and we can turn it on and off by pressing the icon itself. So I can turn it off, it is off now and I can turn it on. So to the right of it, there's going to be a drop down list that's actually going to go upwards because there's no room on the bottom. Once you hit that list, you have plenty of options of things and ways you can snap to. So for right now, we're going to focus on the first four. But these first four allow us to snap to the end point, the midpoint, the center, and the geometric center. So for this first one, the end point, we have it turned on. This allows me to either, if I'm drawing a line or you know, want to extend anything out on another line or any other point, it allows me to get to the end point and snaps right to it. So it's going to snap there, 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 or there. And we will now draw another line. And as you can see, it continues to snap on. So the next thing that we can snap to is actually the midpoint. So what this is going to allow us to do is going to allow us to go down here. We're going to snap to the end point and drag down. And right there, that's going to be our midpoint where that triangle is. So now we can actually draw a line off there. And that allows us to find the midpoint of a line without measuring it. You know, without doing all this extra work, just snap to the object, find the midpoint. Next thing that you can do is find the center point. So that's on as well. And instead of drawing a line this time, we're going to show you how to move it. But I can find the center point of a circle. So instead, again, of doing these, uh, drawing a line and, you know, measuring it out to get the radius or diameter, I can just go here. I can press enter, like I want to move the object. And it's going to show up right in the middle. And I can move it to the center and move that object right over here to this line because it's snapped. So that line is right in the center of that circle. The last thing right now that we're going to go over is the geometric center. So for a uh, shape like a rectangle or a polygon, I can find the geometric center of that shape. So for example, <clears throat> we have right here this pentagon and I am going to move this one as well. And as you can see, it's giving me the geometric center of that polygon. So again, it allows me to center the circle, the polygon, center the line, and hit the endpoints. Alright, so we're going to go over the next four object snaps. And these are going to include the node, quadrant, intersection, and extension. So the first one's going to be a node. And what node allows you to do is to uh, um, snap to a point that either has a dimension attached to it or some text. So for example, we're going to come up here, we're going to click the dimension, say we want to dimension this line right here. So we have the dimension right here, and I know the dimension text is small. I'm going to link a video in the upper corner, shameless plug there if you want to, want to learn how to fix that. Uh, but what the node allows you to do is snap right to where that dimension size is right there. And obviously, as you can see, it says node. So that is what that function does. It also does the same with text, but again, right where the dimensioning tool lands. Okay, uh, we will escape out of here. The next thing is going to be the quadrant button. So this allows me to take a circle and kind of land on an equal quadrant in the circle. So as you can see, there's that diamond shape that comes down here. One, two, three, four. Really allows me to attach to any corner. And then I can even go to the next one. One, two, three, four. Kind of create like a diamond in the middle. So that was the way that one's used. Uh, the intersection one, somewhat self uh, or somewhat obvious, but it uh, kind of snaps to where an intersection is. So for example, we have right here an X. It's going to snap to that intersection point. And then the last one here is going to be the line extension. Now this one's actually very important. And I have this one on all the time because it just kind of allows me to... Um, I don't know, bring things out evenly so I don't have to worry about it. But we're actually going to put the endpoint on. We're going to snap to it. 
And as you can see, it's going to bring my line to that 131 degrees, the same angle that that line is being, or the original line is at. So right here. And then I can do the same here as well. It's going to give me that same angle of 45 degrees. And really any line that you want to extend out, it's going to allow you to create that same line with the same angle. All right, so the next four object snap points I'm going to go over are going to be the insertion, the perpendicular, the tangent, and the nearest. So for the first one, uh, insertion, that is going to allow you to bring a point to where something such as text was inserted. So you can also do this with blocks. But for example, right here, I want to know where this text was inserted, so I'm going to snap to that point, and that is going to be right here with this funky little... Uh, double square right here so text was inserted there that's where I can move that line off of the next object snap point is perpendicular so this one's kinda of neat but what that's gonna allow you to do is um, kinda of draw a line really anywhere and bring it to another line and it's going to actually find you where that perpendicular point is so as you can see there's a little right hand angle there and it's saying perpendicular so I'm going to snap it to that point and it's making a perfect perpendicular line to that other line. Uh, the next one is going to be tangent. This one's also very useful and handy. So say I want to come off a tangent from the circle. I can just kind of go right here and right there. That little circle tangent button, that's going to allow me to draw a line tangent to the circle. Um, again, very useful, but practical in only specific situations. And actually the last one is going to be the nearest point. So this allows me to kind of draw a line and bring it into the nearest point itself. Uh, let's see, right there, there's the nearest point, there's the nearest point. So that one's not really too useful, but it does allow you to kind of just attach if you just need to quickly to the nearest point available. So the last two objects in snap mode we're going to go over are the apparent intersection and parallel. So the apparent intersection is kind of a difficult one to explain when you aren't when you aren't using a 3D workspace. So basically what the apparent intersection allows to happen is it allows you it allows your um, I guess cursor to snap to an apparent intersection that might look like it's an intersection in 2D, but in 3D it really is not. So since there's not really a good example, I don't have one to show you. But the parallel one, on the other hand, is a very handy function. So what that allows you to do is to create another line that is completely parallel with, um, say, a line that you've already created. So, for example, this line right here, it allows me to, if you can see, I can attach to parallel. And now I can come up and make a line that is exactly parallel. So we'll do that again. We're going to start right here. I'm going to come up to this line. Those two little parallel lines are active. And then it allows me to follow this guide uh, green line and move up and create another parallel line to the one I just made. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video. Um, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below if you thought the video was helpful. If you have a better way of doing something, leave a comment as well. Like the video. I do plan on doing a part two to this more to kind of uh, just go over the settings portion of the snap mode, but I hope everyone found this video helpful, and uh, thanks for watching. Hope everyone has a good rest of their day.